Hi, this is Zach Cabria, and in today's video, I will be discussing how to perform a bill run. The bill run screen provides a few options, namely how to search for old bill runs or perform a new bill run. In this video, we will be focusing on how to perform a new bill run. To do this, from the dashboard screen, look up top here and click the bill run tab. Next, look down here and you should see the green button and just click that to, to run the bills. Okay, so now you're in the date parameters screen. So this is an important screen and an important thing to note here is that the statements that will be generated are based on the parameters entered here. Likewise, a message will appear about the status of the statement generation. So there are a few key terms in this section that I want to discuss in this video. So first, as you can see here, we have recurring charge date. This is the date from which daily charges will be incurred. This date is typically the first day of the bill run. So I'm going to click here and call this January 1st. Okay. So next, if you look down the next field, we have issue date. And this is the date the bill is issued. So I'm going to call this January 31st. And lastly, we have due date, which is the date the customer must pay their bill in order to avoid penalties. This is less important than the other two, but still kind of important. So I'm going to call this February 15th. Okay, and then under this we have bill run cycle, and this is explained in another video. Basically, you can set it up your customers to run their bills on separate cycles, and whichever cycle they're on, you can just run those bills with, with the parameters. But I won't go into too many details with that here. So another way to easily remember this is from, to, and do. For recurring charge date being from, issue date being to, and then due date being do. That's a really easy way to remember. Cool. So once you're done with that, you're going to look down here and click the blue button to run bill. So that'll just take a second. So once you do click this button, now you'll see a pop-up right here. So that, as you can see, you'll see a pop-up window that says bill run complete and shows you all the statistics. So you'll see the number of customers, services, as well as the total bill out and total usage with all the statistics and numbers. In addition, if there are any issues or meters that were not processed, you should see a notification such as the one here, which says that four meters were not processed. And you can always click here to view the list and see why. So we're not really going to go into details on that because the bill run did run and everything looks good. So as you can notice here, we also have three columns. And you can see that it gives a snapshot of the bill run, particularly the last and current bill run, as well as the variation here between the two. Keep an eye on this variation column, because if there's a large variance, it could indicate that something might be off. And this is particularly true if you have a very large customer base, because most likely the variance won't be much between one month and the next month, or between different bill runs. Great. So now I'm going to go ahead and click view to see the details on this bill run. So here we see another screen that pops up and this gives you the customers here, a statement summary, and it gives you the customer number with the customer numbers that you've run, the issue dates, due dates, and all the other information such as the payments, taxes, so on and so forth. So this is a pretty important screen that has a few options that we're going to go look into. So first of all, you can see here we have rollback and fix. Then we have commit statement, download PDF, and email bills. So they're all pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go through them a little bit one by one. So as you can see here, if you really want to download the PDF, it's quite easy. You can easily do that. And another way is to go in here and click the green button. So that should open up what the statement looks like here. So you can see we've got the company invoice number and all the relevant details. So really easily um, pull this up for your customer. And then if you do want to download it, you can just click this button and it downloads as a PDF. So pretty cool and your customers will love it. So that is the download PDF and you can go through there or here. 
cool. Now next we have emailing the bill. So you can set this up in a, a different step earlier that we've shown in another video. But once you've set everything up, you can either select individually or select them all by clicking here and then just really easily send a custom email or a template email to all of your emails, uh, so all of your customers with their statements. Now we can look at these two right here. So we've got rollback and fix and commit statement. So rollback and fix is basically, um, you would do that if something looks wrong here in the statement. So we can go ahead and click that and that will take you back to previous screens and then you can change the meter readings and the dates and whatever else you need to to make sure you get the statement that you really need to. So it's just a way for you to fix any errors that you might come run into during this process. And next we have commit statement. So if everything does look okay and the statement looks great for your bill run, you can go ahead and click that and it'll run the bill and you'll be good to go. But one thing to notice here is that if you do click to commit statement, there is no going back and it's lo locked in. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So I've just shown you how to run a bill run and all of the other options. This is a very, very important video. I'm sure you'll all see it. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Zach Cabria, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating our software, as well as adding new videos and playlists to enhance your experience and help you to learn about our platform. We hope that you continue to subscribe to this list, as well as all our channels. Have a great day, and feel free to reach out if you're having any issues. Thank you. Bye.